What's up, people? Punch here. Picked up this game called Outpath for about $14 on Steam. I think the full asking price is about $15, but it was a 10% off sale. And I wanted to show this off a little bit, too, because I had a save file from the demo that I played and decided why not get the full release title. But when you play Outpath, what is this game? Essentially, it's an auto-clicker or a clicker type of game. They also have a different mode to where if you don't want to click a bunch of times, you could just hold down the mouse button and it'll auto-click by itself. But you're going around and you're smacking things, kind of like Minecraft in a way with Minecraft graphics, but it's a whole different concept to where instead of just like smacking something with a tool like a pickaxe or a shovel, you're just auto-clicking it to get a bunch of points as well as the materials you need to make stuff. The points at the top left of the screen are what you need to do research and discover new recipes to make. You can also go and increase the size of your biome, which right now is only like three or four blocks, and it will extend with more blocks and more areas, like some of the places will be forested areas that trees can grow and ferns, as well as rocky places for the coal and copper that you could pick up. The other thing I wanted to show off is that you can make gifts in this game, and this was one I kind of made just to see what it looks like. You could also go in photo mode and you could also take pictures of your stuff like your buildings that you make or if you're just wanting to check out stuff in free fly mode and being able to just look at it that way. You could also make a bed that will help you sleep and get your energy back as well as the bar for your food and you need to have food and sleep in order to survive. If you have the food go all the way down it will like give you a black screen saying you got lucky and then go back but I don't know what happens after that specific portion so you might die completely and lose your whole progress. The game is super fun and easy. Like I said the only thing you do is go up to something you hold down the mouse button or click it and then you can gather whatever materials you need. You could also kill animals like chickens and cows it'll give you meat sometimes it'll give you feathers but I didn't really mess with the turtle because you know it's a turtle and you could take its shell and attack it, but I left him alone this time because I don't really need the shells right now. And he looked kind of cool looking just walking around. But when it came down to the whole like feeling of the game, people are comparing it to Minecraft. And I kind of get that because it's like blocky, pixelated a little bit, kind of like a voxel world. Going around collecting stuff and crafting it afterwards. And I mean, increasing the biome does make it a lot easier to grab resources. The one thing I will say, though, is that if you do not destroy, like, the ferns on the ground, there are things that will not spawn. Like, for example, I had trouble trying to get trees. Trees would not spawn unless I destroyed a bunch of stuff near the forested areas. And then once I did that, a bunch of trees would spawn. I'd get a bunch of wood, and then I'd be able to make, like, fishing poles, nets, and I'd be able to actually do, like, bows and arrows. And you do need wood in order to make the swords, the shovels, the pickaxes. Which, if you do not know, that if you make the tools, it will make the using of the material. Like, if I'm going to cut down trees or mine copper deposits, it'd be a whole lot faster than just normally using your fist and smacking it that way. The other thing I wanted to show off was fishing, because I didn't understand it when I first tried it. You see that white type of block that's currently going around the fish? You have to keep your mouse cursor there by holding it, or if you want to, clicking it. And once that circle goes all the way to green, you catch the fish and you can try it again. Because I have the auto clicker on, it's a lot easier to just get the fish as well as getting treasure chests that will pop up on the circle. Once you get the chest, then you can get the fish as well before the line snaps. You'll tell when the line is about to snap when it starts turning dark red and then goes away. And then you have to send out the line again so you can catch more fish. But essentially it's a lot better than having to look for the cows and chickens that might not spawn. You could just go fish get a couple, go cook it up, and then you have something to make for your food so that your hunger doesn't drop all the way and you pass out and die, or you have to restart the whole session. As time goes on and more recipes are gained, you'll also be able to make more workbenches, workstations, and some other places. I also seen in the trailer or the homepage that you could build your own type of house. I'm not really that far yet, but I did start making like a spinning wheel, is what they call it, which essentially allows you to make thread, fishing poles, nets, and uh, leather. Then they also have the furnace that does the copper ingots, glass. You could also cook food in it, like the fish or the cows and chickens. Then they have the research workbench, which does the different recipes. Then another workbench, which is the advanced workbench, and that allows you to make the camera, make some bow and arrows, and some other things. And the camera is kind of useful too, because you can use that to just kind of take pictures of your place, 
let's say you make a pretty big building and it's something that you're proud of, you could take a picture of it and it'll pop up in your folders as well as the GIF from earlier that'll be in the same folder that you have the game in. But I'm liking this game quite a lot, man. For $15, too, it's super fun to play. Even after I got done recording, I still played like maybe a good hour, hour and a half before I had to finally put it down so I can make the video. But I do like getting points as well as being able to get the material gain of whatever I was chopping down or kind of messing around with and mining. Then you can go ahead and make the stuff like, again, copper ingots and the smelter and glass and then being able to cook in there since there's no real campfire it's just using the furnace in order to cook the specific food that you get from animals and fish but i wanted to show this off as well i also made my personal cave as you see here when you get down here from the ladder you have a bunch of big stones that you can mine they're about 525 points a piece and they also give you some flint as well as some big stones but in closing, before I end the video, this game is absolutely worth checking out. It's definitely fun as hell to be able to make all the different recipes and be able to discover new stuff as well as new tools. And I highly recommend people trying it out. It's called Outpath for about $14, $15 on Steam. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.